Today's watchword is definitely going to be multitasking. Um, I am working from home today uh, because I'm still not over this cold yet and I have so much to get done. Um, I am very fortunate that it's like a sick working from home day and I can get stuff done here without having to actually go into the office, which is great. Um, and today I'm going to get as much done and be as productive as possible. Um, it, all at the same time. I'm gonna, you know, really try to focus on the work stuff that I have to get done. I already have a laundry list of stuff that has to get done, and then literally I have a laundry list of stuff at home. Because I'm home, I can actually, like, get the stuff done that I didn't get done yesterday while my sister was here, like, getting the laundry done. Um, I have a couple big projects at work that I'm working on, so I really do have to focus on work stuff. That being said, I am also home, so I can hang out with the dog and be in comfy sweats instead of in the office. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, today's word is multitasking. Multipass. Multipass. Yeah. Multipass. Leela, uh, multipass. She knows it's multipass. Multipass. Multitasking. Um, Eric likes to say that I'm not a very good multitasker. I like to think I'm a pretty good multitasker. I'm just really bad at it when there's television involved. I can't really have a conversation and watch TV at the same time. When it comes to work stuff, I can jump around pretty well. Um, probably because they're all somewhat related to the same topic, like the same mission, the same goal. Um, so I'll be curious today to see how productive I can be and how much I actually get done. Um, but first and foremost, I'm gonna go take some um, cold medicine because that's gonna be pretty critical to me getting any work done today. Multitasking, totally. Thank you very much. Take care. For the record, I am actually getting work done. So I have work email, work project I'm working on. Over here on my iPad, I have my list of things that I gotta get done. Over here, I have my scratch notepad where I can like write notes, but I'm left-handed so I can't write like that. Coffee. And I have a cell phone, just in case. Do you think I have enough technology, guys? I, I tried to live without your love. Jesus Christ, I just knocked over my water pump. That's what happens when you try to do too many things at the same time. Um, so multitasking today, I got a bunch of work stuff done. I got the laundry done. I cleaned up part of the house. Um, I folded all the laundry. Um, I even caught up on a little TV while I was folding the laundry. I took some time and I like that had needed focus. Um, and I wanted to take a little break from work because I've been doing a lot of work today. Um, uh, that being said, I need to run out and, and leave my faux office here for a little while and run some errands. Um, but I would say that multitasking was pretty good, at least until I knocked over my water just now. Anytime you multitask, you're not putting your full um, attention on the project that you're working on. But, but splitting up your attention allows you to do more things at once. You can be more efficient. So the question has to come, you know, what can meet the same level of quality while having less attention. Um, and not everything can can do that. You, you can't apply that to everything. Um, so there were a couple things that I worked on today, like design project wise, that required like laser, laser focus. And so I worked on those, but other things like bouncing between emails or working on um, secondary stuff, those can all be done at the same time. And at the same time, you know, it's like, oh, I'm watching my clock so I can run down and switch the laundry, picking up a few things in here and there. Having the ability to jump back and forth makes me more efficient. Um, I try to be keenly efficient in all the things that I do. Um, it's not always possible, but it is always probable. So, um, I, I, I'm not sure today was a huge success, but at least I got a bunch of stuff done that I needed to get done 
I didn't get everything done though, so I need to go out now and take care of that other stuff before I have to be somewhere at four o'clock. So I have a little bit of time to um, run a few errands. Um, it's the afternoon as well now, and anytime I'm sick, I always feel better in the afternoon. I'm like, I'm fine again. I'm not actually fine, um, but medicine is working. It's afternoon, so I feel like I can get stuff done outside of the house and not collapse in the street. Uh, so we're gonna go do that. So one of the things on the must-do list this afternoon is go buy a new hair dryer. So uh, yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, um, I went to dry my hair and suddenly sparks shot out from the hair dryer and it cut off. I'm glad nothing caught on fire, including my hair. But I'm pretty sure it's dead now, so I need to go buy a new hair dryer. I was gonna order one online, but then I just was like, eh, I could just go to the store and pick it up. So, all right, so here are my options well, damn, I don't know what to get. I think that looks good enough, right, guys? But now, what kind of hair products do I need? Do I need hair products? I don't know. So in a few minutes I'm headed to a meeting um, that a friend of mine set up for me at Google. Uh, we're gonna get to tour part of Cornell's campus, which is housed within Google today. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to film, um, but I'm gonna try to see what I can get. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do a big intro for this in case I can't get anything, but I'm pretty excited. I'm, it's just a tour, it's nothing like super fancy, but I'm pretty excited. Oh. tour ever um, it was literally in and out because he was really just showing us the tech campus there um, Cornell has a deal with Google where they get to have part of their campus on site at Google because they are building a new campus here in New York and it's not ready yet I wish we got to see more um, my friend or my friend's friend uh, had to go to an interview, he has a job interview. So, short, sweet, but still got to go. Still feeling okay. This is, I think, a good sign. Cause when you laugh, the room lights up. My heart is opened up. Is this us? Is this us? No, that was Google. God, we could have just gotten off and gone to Google. We could have.